when I was sitting up on my balcony wondering what was most important I ever learned from church. And, and uh, it, it took a minute. And then I remembered at lunch, the minister at the Beverly Hills Presbyterian Church told me that there's four ingredients without which there would be no life at all on planet earth. And it was like, excuse me, four ingredients? He said those four ingredients are the sun, the rain, the soil, and the earthworms that oxygenate the soil. Without those four things, now they didn't know they were part of a team. They didn't know that, that if one of them didn't show up that day, we were in big trouble. <laughs> they just each got out of bed and gave what they had to give. And that is every little, every little thing that we have to give, who knows how important it is. I was raised that God had to turn away from us for our evils and sins like we were slimy worms. So I was raised that worms were really bad news. And, mm -hmm. and, and now I'm like, holy moly, they're as important as the sun. And the sun has been worshiped by how many civilizations as God? So what do we know? You know, I just say the most important thing we can do is what Ruth is saying, get out of bed and give what you have to give. And when you give what you have to give, that's incidentally what you're gonna get. So if you're giving judgment and anger and whatever, you're gonna get that back. But what's exciting is to have giving what we have to give and then we all come together on giving what we have to give. Oh my God, I think that's a gorgeous world. The people I'm meeting in it, for the last 40 years have just, oh, I was suicidal over this stuff I used to deal with, with parole officers and juvenile court and, and, and the obscenities that we were doing to our kids. And now every morning I wake up and say, I'm 82. If I still have anything to give, you tell me what it is, God, and who to give it to and how do I do that? And that's the beginning of my day. And here I am still alive. 